Wanted to bring on this morning Tanya Curry. She's Deputy Commissioner of Housing for the Department of Community Affairs here in the great state of Georgia. She's going to talk to us about a special program that's going on, some financial assistance for Georgia renters and landlords known as the GRA. And uh, Commissioner, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate you being with me this early. Thank you so much, Bill, and thank you for having me on. Well, this is a pretty big program, so let's talk a little bit about it because we've heard a lot in the news over the past year of pandemic issues with people, you know, out of work, not able to go to work and being able to make rent, being able to do that. And of course, the other side of that is landlords who own the property. They need to get paid as well. So talk about this program and how it works. Absolutely, Bill. Listen, we want uh, your listeners to know and citizens across Georgia to know that this is um, over $500 million in rental assistance that's coming from the federal government. It's not state money. It's not state tax money. This is money that is coming from the federal government to help um, landlords and renters across the country. Georgia received that allotment of money, and DCA is responsible for administering that program throughout the state. So what it means is is that if you are a landlord um, who maybe your tenant hasn't been able to pay uh, due to COVID um, and the pandemic over the past 12 months or so, or if you're a tenant that, you know, hasn't been able to pay, these monies are available for you to cover those arrearages. And so what we need for everyone to do who's in that situation is to go to georgiarentalassistance.ga.gov, check it out. There is a place where landlords can apply and a place where tenants can apply. And of course, as you you might imagine, there's documentation that you have to provide, things like, you know, the fact that you actually had a lease, documentation of the arrearages, certification of the exact amounts and those types of things. But it's a very easy process in order to receive these these federal funds. We talked a little bit about, first of all, uh, you know, who's eligible and kind of made that clear. Yeah. But are there, are there certain categories that do not qualify? Well, um, the categories that, that would not qualify would be, um, obviously, people who, you know, didn't have arrearages. Um, it's not available just for you to, um, you know, either add-on or or if you're able to pay. So you have to have been um, either unemployed or um, in a homeless situation or imminently homeless. So what that means is you had to be, you know, close to being evicted or, um, you know, maybe you were laid off or something like that. But it's not for people that were gainfully employed and had the ability to pay. Um, and there are certain income um income limits. um, And we don't really categorize that by a number. It's um, a percentage of the area meeting an income. So people don't need to really worry about that. They just need to apply if they weren't able to pay their pay their rent. So it's available to most people who were unable to pay their rent during this pandemic time. Our guest this morning is Tanya Curry. She's the deputy commissioner of housing for the Department of Community Affairs here in Georgia. And just curious, uh, along with us, is there a is there a time limit on this? Is is this only going to be available for a, a limited time? This is this is correct. I'm glad that you asked that. This is a um, a short term kind of situation. This isn't an ongoing program that we're going to be administering, um, you know, for years and years and years like some of our other assistance programs. The government really wants to get this money out, and so we're asking people to apply as soon as possible. Um, the initial deadline was through the end of September. They have extended that a little bit um, here recently, but it's really best to go ahead and get those applications in because what our staff has to do, we've got um, lots of people that are receiving these applications and taking phone calls and that type of thing. They've got to go in and kind of review all of the documentation. If, and if you're missing something, you may get a call back from one of our staff saying, you know, I need this document or I need this document to complete your application. So the quicker you get it in, the better off you'll be. Um, because you do need, we do need to complete the file in order to go ahead and process those payments. And I will add this piece. Um, this is very important. The monies are going to be dispersed to the landlord. So even though tenants are, um, you know, able to put their information in, we will be matching those applications up with the landlords. And the landlords are the ones who are going to get the payments because they're the ones who obviously are do the payments for those rents, for those properties that they own, um, and that type of thing. So I don't want any um, tenants to think that, um, this money is going directly to them. It is going directly to the landlords for rental arrearages that are, um, you know, past due. Specific use funds, most definitely. Uh, uh, yeah. Designated Absolutely. funds, I think, is what, what we call them. Uh, GeorgiaRentalAssistance.ga.gov. Did I get that website right? 
Yes, spell it all the way out, Georgia, no no, no dot, just georgiarentalassistance.ga.gov. All right, excellent. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate you being with us. Tonda Curry's been our guest. She is the Deputy Commissioner of Housing for the Department of uh, Community Affairs here in Georgia. And thank you for getting up early with us today and bringing bringing this to us, because I know there's some folks out there who uh, unfortunately have been in a world of hurt, and maybe this will be some relief for them after this pandemic.